so smooth so this morning we are splitting up we have some fields down south but it's not enough acres to bring all nine machines down so we're gonna send four machines down south and then five machines back up north to go do the stuff up there so me and Cody which is 4G's cart driver we're going with the four combines down south that stuff is getting trucked and then the stuff up north is getting bagged and then by the time oh there's a wasp by the time we get that done we'll go up north and there's lots more acres to do up there so it'll all work out and you'll never guess but it's supposed to rain again today Well, Craig started his combine and got a stop code. So luckily the John Deere guy was already here fixing their combine problem. So hopefully they'll get that figured out. I don't know what stop code it was because I didn't have my radio on. There's Matt taking pictures. <laughs> Line up. And got the lagger. Doug hates it when I do this. Now we're gonna end up in a situation here. This field is very messy. There's a big wash out here. His locker was about to go in my cart. Can't overload the cart. Oh, there it is. Little raindrops on the roof. Just needs to leave us alone for like 24 minutes. Well, we got rained out. Um, since it's cloudy and the sun is not predicted to shine, and the wind is not going to come out. This is not going to dry down today. And we're supposed to get more rain tomorrow. Like for sure percent chances of rain tomorrow. So we're going to dump the last 30,000 pounds that I have on my cart on a truck. Just because we don't know when we're going to be able to get back out of here. So at least we got to cut today. And Ross is going to pull right up. Oh, perfect. I love it when they do that. I don't even have to move. So since we got rained out, now we need to do the vehicle shuffle because everyone's vehicles that they brought out here this morning are where we started and everyone has since split in lots of different ways. So time to shuffle some folks. False alarm. Apparently the field they're coming in is kicking up dust and at 14% moisture right now and I'm not sure how that's happening because I'm literally two miles away from the field. I was gonna get a cool picture, but then, you know, Doug ate mud again. <laughs> well, I think we're officially calling it for the day. Well, let's, let's uh, wrap it up, boys. Get dumped in the carts, they can get dumped in the truck. I am ecstatic with this yield. This is on sunflower stubble. Anyway, the moisture is too high to put in bins, and we don't have a bagger down here, so we're gonna call it. The rain keeps on and off, so. We got more acres done than we would have if we stopped, which is always a plus, especially with how the weather is getting and how it is in September. I always heard that North Dakota gets wet in September, but I didn't believe it until I've experienced it. Even for three days, it's been ridiculous. As far as the weather update goes and what it looks like for the future of harvest, we are so close to done. Everything that we have left to do is pretty close to the shop. So this is the stuff that's further south and then after we get done down here, we're done with down south and then we're all around the shop. And this is where I recreate the drone video of everyone lined up is up at the shop. So that's coming soon. 
but we're supposed to get weather tomorrow. And if we don't get weather tomorrow, like it's supposed to dump rain. I'm gonna be very surprised if we don't get that. So um, that'll probably have it stopped up till Monday. And then next week looks like good cutting weather so far, but that could all change because we've all, you know, the forecast does what it wants to, not what it says it's gonna do. And then hopefully we'll be done with harvest next week. So today is Friday, it's raining, looking to be done next week. These doors. The button is tough. Oh, there goes Cody. Hand rolling his tarp. Poor guy. You almost feel bad for him. Ah, oh, that must suck, Cody. Darn. <laughs> it is Monday the 11th. We've been rained out since Friday, so hopefully we'll get the stuff down south done today, and then we'll be able to move. And we only have until about Wednesday if everything goes the way it should. So probably we'll be done Friday. Well, we're playing the hurry up and wait game. It's 1.07 in the afternoon. We've cut about three truckloads and now everyone is sitting, waiting, devouring lunch because the wheat is still like anywhere from 14 to 17 percent and everyone's moisture testers are saying different things. So we took a sample. Old Craig just came and picked up a sample to bring into town and get it tested so we'll know if we can keep hauling because we don't have the bagger. Um, if we did have the bagger, it'd be fine, but we're putting this in bins so it is not fine to put it in there at 17%. There goes Dennis. I don't know what he's doing. All right, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. This field is just too wet. It hasn't been drying down fast enough, so we are going to move to another field that's just a little bit east of us and see how that does. But we've been sitting like all day. It's 3.30. Holy moly. But it's still mighty green. You can see a lot of green stalks in there. I wonder if we should just bail out and move over. Tristan is going to get on the phone and see where we need to go next because we're thinking of going that way, but all of the other combines are cutting down, well, not down north, um, up north. So hopefully something will work out and we can get some acres done today because it's already, like I said, 3.30. And the verdict is we are going to leave this and go back up north. So. We will be reunited with all the other combines. I mean, on the right side, eggs should be completely opened up by now, huh? Um, I guess I don't even know when we'd come back and do this, because it's going to be wet, like I was saying in previous videos. It's just September gets wet. Are the other ones getting loaded? Because they're not going to go the same way. think I'm gonna catch them? They're way up there already. Maybe you can see them. I can't zoom in right now because I'm driving. I don't know. I might. Going 26. I did not catch up to the rest of the group, but Hayden did something. Oh, that's bad. Oh, yeah. That is sunk. So that's actually the same spot that Tristan and Joel 
got stuck this spring during seeding. Um, that's why it's not seeded right here. Not fun. This is still uh, pretty wet. You can see kind of, I don't know, where they got stuck-ish still from seeding. Ay ay ay. This you? No, no. I I don't know who did that. Did, that was dibs. <laughs> Kristen's tires are getting wet. Looks like he's gonna back out. Oh. Ay ay ay. Freaking gumbo. <laughs> you should come stand in the hole. <laughs> I guess it's not as bad. You were spinning more. Uh, so I'm, it's like knee deep in the water somewhere. You want to take me in the big mud? <laughs> knee deep in the mud right somewhere. <laughs> Got a cool sky breeze, bro. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work out. So we're kind of in a predicament because uh, this is wet. That's wet. That's wet. Um, this is obviously wet. And the pullout tractor is up there. Do you have anything to say for yourself? No. Go big or go home. <laughs> already mud on his tires and I'm on camera duty. I hope they don't break it. Yeah, right. <laughs> spot um yeah Tristan and Joel both got stuck during seating right there but it's been a very wet year so you just you find new wet spots and that just happens we have jumped across the field with the four combines for us and it's still pretty wet uh if Dennis's tires are wet where he's at you should just let me come to you I think we're okay here yet. Are you just to come for my combine this next year? Shall we see how much mud Matt drags up? I think he's probably got around 50 to 60 thousand pounds on, I didn't ask. And if you can see right here, that's a little moist. And I'm probably sitting right where he needs to drive. We'll see what he does.
Oh. Oh. Oh, it's slinging up mud. Oh, no, 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 no. That's where he slung up mud last time. Well, he didn't get stuck. Oh, there's some more mud. Just a little bit. Oi, bang. So it looks like I will not be driving through there. I'm gonna drive around this way to go catch combines. I think Dennis just got stuck.